We need it done this year. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Dan. And I'm Bob. I'm Spencer. I'm Mike. And this is the Board Game Rundown. Today we're taking a look at Acropolis from Gigamic Games. I think it's games, right? Or just Gigamic, gigamic. maybe. Sure. I talked to him at the thing and asked if it was Gigamic or Gigamike. <laughs> they said it was Gigamic. Um, but so, uh, Bob, yeah. you probably know Acropolis the best out mm -hmm. of all of us. So how about you kind of talk him through this? Uh, sure. So in Acropolis, we're going to be drafting tiles and adding them to our cities and trying to formulate the best uh, score that we can, the best city. Uh, and this, the points are going to be earned by uh, assembling the different districts by according to whatever uh, that color wants. Like the blue ones want to be next to each other. The yellow ones want to be by themselves. Red ones on the edge. Uh, purple Dad. ones want to be surrounded. <laughs> no, Dan. And then the green ones just want to be. Um, and then depending on how many stars you have, those will be multipliers by how many points you get for each one of those uh, districts that meet the criteria that it's looking for. Right, um, so one blue star, blue, uh, five blue tiles, ten points. I mean five points. Five <laughs> points, correct. That's how <laughs> yes, yes. And so like uh, the purple ones have two stars on each one, so if I've got six of those and I have four of them you know, lined up together accordingly, then that'd be 24 points. Um, and then it's got a nice little score pad here to help add all that up. But yeah, that's going to be the basic gameplay. Uh, there's going to be six tiles out here for whoever is going. Um, that's according by the number of people. And we're going to deal these out. Mike has the uh, token, so he would have first one is always free, and then it's one stone more for each as far back as you would like to go. Uh, he's going to take the tile he wants, and then he's going to place it however you want. You can build up, which is good. And every time you cover one of the quarries, uh, you're going to gain one of these stones back. Um, and then you can spend those stones, like I said, to draft tiles further down the line. Once everybody's picked all the tiles, the whoever was first player is actually going to get two tiles out of that batch. It'll be down to one tile. The first player token will pass the next player. You'll deal out five more tiles, and you just keep going until all the stacks of five are gone. So it's pretty straightforward. only takes about 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes to play through. And uh, it's super basic to learn. Yeah, a couple quick points if you're trying to learn the game is the uh, the stone will be worth points at the end of the game. It's yep. not just useless and not just tiebreakers. It's one point per stone. Yep. Um, and you guys can't see them because they're buried down here, but we all start with the one same tile. Yes. Um, it's one basic tile here. Yep. Three stones. Let's show it there. With a one blue star in the middle. Yep, we all started with that one, and then you're just drafting. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, like Bob was saying, if you don't have any stars for a certain color, you can't score it. So either don't collect that yeah. color or make sure you get some stars, yep. right? Um, but that's the basics on, on how to play, play, I think. I mean, I it's think a, so. it's super yeah. straightforward. Yeah. Um, we all demoed this at Gen Con, and I mean, mm -hmm. we, we yep. learned it in no time. Yep. Yeah, Bob's yeah. played it a few mm -hmm. times played since. Played through a whole mm -hmm. game very quickly. Yeah. Yep. It's worth noting the whole reason that we were incentivized to uh um, to review this one is because of all the love it got at Gen Con. Yeah, and even I mean, Origins, too. It, it sold out super quick at Origins. I didn't even have a chance to get it. And then, yeah, when at Gen Con, it was selling out super quick. And yeah, people were sprinting to the Cor Scorpion Mask slash Hachette, Hachette booth mm -hmm. to pick up this and Touring Machine every single day. So by Friday, they were already sold out of this. And we're like, well, I guess we got to play this now. Yeah. yeah, and so now we're like, hey, let's uh, let's talk about this game and see if it was worth running there immediately to yeah, get yeah. right, Bob? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, in my defense, I was working the booth right next door. That's true. Yeah. So I just went over there and was like, are you guys open yet? Yeah, can I buy this? Oh, so <laughs> you also bought the one that was right next to the booth when we were at uh, Origin. Right. So is this going to be problem. a thing? <laughs> 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 Probably. Got a problem. Well, that was kind of <laughs> like our, our, our basis of operations. We'd yeah. all meet at the DV Games booth because right. our guys were working it. So we'd all meet there and we would just see everybody rushing to this booth every single morning. Mm. Like, why are people sprinting yeah. to the Scorpion Mask Hachette booth? Let's mm -hmm. play this. Holy crap. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, after the quick rundown, basically, now we're going to talk about components, okay? What's in the box? Let's see, guys. You can open. You can just talk freely, right? Yeah. What do you guys you know, think about I, components? Here? I really like these components. Like these tiles are super thick. They're yeah, thick. Nice they're, uh, so they're not going to warp at all. These player aids are super helpful. And they're not big. only they're really big. They're easy to read. It has a breakdown with all the meta information, right? How many players are you playing with? How many of each tile are in yeah, the stacks? Yeah, and, and the star and the tile. The stars yes. and the tiles. Yes. Fantastic. All the tiles have the player count right on the back, so they're super easy to sort with the number of players that you're playing with. Uh, it does have variants on the back side of the card, so if you think the game's too easy, you can start adding in these variants, which will alter the scoring a little bit. 
Um, the box is super nice because all the tiles like fit into these little tiny spaces, and so they're not just kind of flopping all around and everything. And if you really want to, you could separate the five player and the, or the four player, oh, the three sure. player ones uh, around there. But I just like to flip them all over, mix them up, so they're already shuffled. Because most time you're going to be playing this game, at least so far I've played, it's been four people, right? Mm -hmm. You can find people who are willing to throw 20, 30 minutes at a game and try it. And everybody I've played it with, I've probably taught the game twice already now, like to, besides our normal group, right? And They've loved it. Like, let's, let's play it again. Let's play it again. It gets two plays normally back to back because it's so fast. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a great game. And how are the colors? The colors are, are fine. I, I was going to ask that. Yeah, so not only are the art different, right? So like that in itself helps, but I can tell that's more purple. That's more blue. The green is very green. For anyone new to the channel, Bob has um, a style yeah. of colorblind. Yep, and I have no issues telling these apart. So that's a good choice in the colors there. Yeah, and obviously they are, they have different artwork too. Yeah, mm -hmm. but. It, that's really hard to notice. <laughs> so yeah. I, wanted to well I, I mean, like, I don't really think so, right? Because like the little blue ones have like the little, the like circles. almost, uh, yeah, the circles on yeah. top. The the purple ones have the little like square, like pantheon looking kind of building, right? The yellow ones are obviously Looks like a, market. a marketplace. Yeah. The military ones have like boot camps on them. So yeah, I guess, I guess just while that's true, the colors are so vibrant, I yeah. literally don't even don't notice. So I could see that mm. if I was looking at these through like black and white pictures and mm -hmm. I had to memorize them, yeah, they're way different and I could yeah. do it. But it's definitely not something my Necessary. brain latches on to. Sure, um, because. The, my Again, brain tend, tends to do that anyway, just because sure, of how of I've course, lived, of yes. course. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, I, you even said you thought the tiles were like plastic when you first saw because they're so I, yeah, they're so they're thick. So I thought they were nice. gonna be plastic, but they're not. But it's still fine, right? I mean, Actually, they're still a nice, thick quality tile. It's not overproduced, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. It was a it was a reasonably priced game. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so that thirty dollars, I believe. Yeah, something. Oh, like that's that. yeah. Obviously, price. that'll you know fluctuate, but Depending on where you I think it's already paid for itself. Yeah, I mean, this Gen Con. Yeah, the square book, apart from being square. Uh, is was pretty good. I mean, we got the teach at uh, yeah uh, at, at Gen Con. We had an actual uh, Hachette employee teach us. Correct, but yeah, these. I mean, it's still super basic. You know, it breaks everything down, and then it gives you a uh, breakdown of the variants too. So, like, even though there is a shortcut on the back of the card, it really breaks down on how that works on the back of the book. Do, uh, I also just this is totally off topic, but I want to apologize if it's not Hachette. Did anyone actually hear it from them? Just no. because it's a French company, right? No. So E T T E can be silent. Right, so I was just wondering. No, no, no. Oh no, E T is silent. E T T E is usually pronounced. Right, well, T T is usually pronounced. Yeah, that's sure. why like flechette and stuff. Ballet, that's ballet yeah. not ballet. Yep. Sure. Um, <laughs> it does come with like this whole book of scoring cards, which is super helpful for trying to calculate all your scores. But I would probably just blow it up a little bit bigger and laminate one. Right, eventually, oh, but good, good but point, still, it point. makes it really because like it might be a little bit much like trying to add up all your stars, multiply by how many things you have, right? Because the higher they go, the more points they're worth as well. I guess I'm not sure if I broke that down or not in the gameplay. Yeah. Right. Um, it's but yeah, one it extra point per, easy. right? Yeah, so if it's like if it's on the base level, it's only worth one point. If it's on the second tier, it's worth two points. Third tier, three points. Three points. Okay. So yep. Uh, yeah, I I do like though. So you yes, you have to know basic math. Um, to do Sorry. the scoring, mm -hmm. but I do like the way that they laid out the score pad. Mm -hmm. That it's it asks you how many stars did the player have, mm -hmm. how many uh, tiles did they have, and then multiply them together and add them. And it's just a super straightforward way to do it. It's pretty good, but yeah, uh, yeah nothing else, guys, from you guys. I mean, I like Not the box art. Wise. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, okay, then we're gonna go into our final thoughts on this game before we rate it. Final thoughts. Mike. What do you think of Acropolis? Um, this is a solid tile laying game. I mean, it's got good replayability mm -hmm. with the scoring and the variants. Mm -hmm. um, I, I mean, it, for the thirty dollars price tag that it was at Gen Con, as quickly as this, as you can learn it, as quickly as you can play it. Um, I mean, it plays in twenty five minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a solid game. I mean, I definitely recommend it for anybody's collection. I would give this a solid eight. Um, <laughs> okay. I we're, not think rating it yet, sure. we're not rating it yet, but that's sure. fine. We'll get Final thoughts. We'll get uh, <laughs> um, He's been excited to talk about his rating. Yes, he's no, about I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Um, so no, maybe, I maybe we can bleep that out. Spoiler. I think, <laughs> I, I, I think they could add some more variants. Mm -hmm, maybe sure. they're waiting on an expansion for that. Mm -hmm, Who maybe. knows? Yeah. But a couple more variants wouldn't have hurt. That would have been two or three more cards, and you would have gotten a lot more replayability out of this. But it's a fine fun game mm -hmm. yep. well we did play with two of the variants this most recent game yep. Yep, which increased the uh, potential score of red and yellow but there's one for each of them and uh, purple and yellow but that's uh, sorry purple and yellow there's one for each and uh, I think there is quite a bit of uh, it's going to change the strategy quite a bit like for the blue one it's if you can get like, at least 10 it's going to double the score 10 in mm -hmm. an area 
And so you were saying how that's going to be too easy, but I'm like, but if we're all going for it, that's going to become a major deal. Point of contest. And yeah. I think it's going to change how we play the game. So each, it each would. one is going to change I still, how we play I still, it. I still strongly believe the blue is the strongest one in the double point one. Mm. If someone runs away with it and gets 12 in a row, and then you're already – you know, doubling it with a double stack, and then you're doubling for that, and then all the blue stars. I think that that one has the biggest potential to run away from my experience. Sure. Um, Possibly. Because there's just there's the most blue tiles out there. But, sure. but that also brings up the drafting. Mm -hmm. so yeah, for sure. Yeah, when you're drafting and you have to pay to go up um, for each, you know, each one you pay up to skip, mm -hmm. uh, you can accidentally hate draft, or you can do it on purpose. <laughs> Uh, I believe one game someone mm. uh, took all of the stars away f was from you, right, Dan? I don't know. Mm. Yeah, uh, you were going for green, and, and oh, all sure. your stars kept getting taken away. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, and, and it makes sense, right? It's like hate drafting, but it's also logic. You can't just let someone run away with yeah. something. So yeah. if someone has eight greens on their board and there's a, a three green star out there, you're just like, can't well, I can't let him have Yeah, that. so <laughs> I'll, I'll take my three points, which is barely anything, but I stop him from getting 50. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so. exactly. To me, that's also not a detriment to the game. No. Like, it's I think not. it's good that you have to play it, pay attention to what other players are, are doing. Correct. It's not a multiplayer solitary game. You have to pay attention to what other players are doing. Mm -hmm. Also, I think it's worth mentioning because we haven't yet. Scores are very tight. Oh, my God. We I just, just, we say, yeah. just played this, and it was 112, 113, 114 and 119. Close. Spencer won, but we'll yeah. edit that out later. Correct. <laughs> he, also he, just accidentally, he also accidentally slipped a second ago that he thought red was scoring double, so maybe right. that has no. something to do with <laughs> it. That's true, too. That's, we're going to have to recalculate. Check his <laughs> math. <Yeah. laughs> Unfortunately, I did the math, so check, check Bob's my math. math. <laughs> but then, yeah. um, like the first time we played, mm -hmm. three of us were within one point of each other. Yep. It was just so crazy. So it's close. Very tight. And last night when I was teaching new people, two of the new people, uh, 109 and 111, and the guy only got the 111 because of the three stone he had left over. Otherwise, he would have lost. Like yeah. it's always so close. It's really good when you can pull a brand new out of the game, a brand new game out of the box, teach brand new players, and mm. have scores that tight. Yeah, like, yeah. that means uh, an experienced player may have award. a slight advantage over others, but. Not much, eh. <laughs> and that's always nice that new players can jump into the game right, and, and feel like compete. they've got a shot at exactly. winning. Yep. But the one thing I wanted to bring up is these stones are a precious commodity. Yeah. You will quickly run out, mm -hmm. and I kind of I brought this up during the game, and I think you also brought it up where it would be nice if you put the stones on the right. ones you were Some skipping. Some of the games that do that, so that yeah. oh, no one wants that one. Hey, at least I have Th a stone. This is something that I genuinely want to talk to the designers and stuff about is why they didn't do this method because there's obviously going to be a reason. It's a very well-designed game, so there was yeah. something that went into this because this is a proven mechanism. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of games that do this, and it's it works beautifully. It enhances the gameplay. Sure, but Technically, in those games, these aren't worth victory points at the end of the game. That's true, but I would rather have them not worth victory points in this game. And I have more of them. Yeah. I don't, I don't I even want like a bunch more of them because running out is, is important. It needs to feel big. Right. But like there are just times where if you don't have any and mm. then you can't get any like double whites and stuff because people are taking them, you're going to have n zero or one stone for multiple rounds, mm. and that is Game breaking, like not game breaking, like the mechanics, but like for your score, if you can only have zero, or like there were like three rounds in a row in our in our newest game that we played today, where I just had to take the free tile every time and just try to fit it in wherever I could yeah. because I had no stone and I couldn't get any stone. But it didn't kill your score. No. It didn't kill your score because uh, sure, there's this puzzle aspect that I adore. It's you are building a puzzle here, trying mm -hmm. to maximize your own points. Uh, and I just love those kinds of games. Same. No, yeah, me too. I love spatial games. I love logic puzzles. You know, I like tactile things mm -hmm. and stuff. I, I like a lot of this game. I just feel like, um, you know, with Dune Imperium, a lot of people um, that kind of hate on it, again, it's a very beloved game. It's one of my favorites. But when people try to complain about one of the things is just how limiting it is. If you draw your hand and all you can do is is go to orange spaces that turn, you got to try to figure out an efficient turn where you only go to orange spaces and that can feel rough. I think it feels great um, but I do see that people are going to feel that here a little bit, you know um, depending on how much stone you have and stuff and and because the stone is so limiting in the game, it, it, it makes it feel like there's more hate drafting, only mm -hmm. because people have to take certain tiles. Yeah, or, yeah. or if I only have one stone, I can only take one of these two tiles. And depending on what people take, I can be left with garbage. Mm -hmm. And they're not doing it on purpose. They're right. just taking what helps them. But I'm so limited that one tiny decision 
is like, okay, how am I going to recover? I, w- I will never financially recover from this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Well, see, I would take one of those like crappy tiles and then just build on top of it. Of course. That's know? true. Of course. Because it, 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 it could be irrelevant. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 And, I mean, at the same time, that happens. It feels like that. But in the end, our scores are all really tight. We're all suffering that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Again, it's all true. It seems very well designed. I'm just yeah. saying that there are going to be people out there who, like, vehemently hate hate drafting like that feeling yeah. and stuff right and you're gonna feel that a lot in this game even if it's not actually yeah. hate drafting right mm. um and so i just think for those people yeah. you know maybe test Get play it. it don't be yeah. so hate play <laughs> <Get over laughs> sure it. sure change your entire personality <laughs> yeah. also yeah. That, you know one thing meditates that, or something one, <laughs> thing that, one thing that adds to that spatial element that spencer talked about is how these tiles are all three hexes combined oh, yeah. and that gives yeah. you a lot different methods of how you can kind of put oh, sure. these together it, it's also naturally limiting because you can't just very easily get three up it takes quite right. a bit to, to get, get that up third, the third level and yeah. i don't right. know so if we mentioned start doing that how thing. the tiles are stacked but you can't just place one they can't overhang one for yeah. one over one tile correct. it has to overhang two tiles, tiles. Two so tiles. you really have to yeah. plan ahead on mm-hmm. when you're stacking up and how you get your that's quarry. why you always look for these quarry double quarry bonuses. ones and then yeah. just put it next to another quarry then boom there's no, three I had that exact thing happen where I realized, oh no, I <laughs> can't do it here because oh no. I would need to go on top of itself. And ah, uh. yep. Uh, um, so I think that's pretty much. Yeah, cool. I mean, any, any other final thoughts, guys? I'm just trying to get as high as I can while you guys are talking right now. <laughs> nope. Four layers. <laughs> <laughs> is there a limit on number of layers? Uh, I know. I thought three. we asked that. I, is, is three. 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 I think I'm it positive. was. Oh. We check that because we don't typically get. That yeah, high. That, that's crazy. That's not going to be worth yeah, anything. So especially, yeah. especially since there's no scoring thing on the t- top layer. <laughs> I also don't have my starting tile in my build. Cheating. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> wow. um, okay, but while Bob's looking it up, we're going to move into final scoring now, okay? I have a really good time. Okay, so final rating. Who wants to describe final rating? Bob? Yeah. You? <laughs> I don't think I asked you. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to go ahead and give this a rating uh, from 1 to 10, including .5s, and then we're going to take that score and average it together so that when you look us up on BGG and everything, uh, you're only finding one score, not individual scores. But we like to give individual scores in case you agree with me more or with Dan more. Uh, so, yeah. So, <laughs> Spencer. Hello. What would you think? I like the game quite a bit. I like the length. I like the puzzles. I'm giving this a 9. 9. Wow. Nice. Solid. I spoiled my score, um, (laughs) so apologies there. But, yeah, it's an 8 for me. It's a solid game. Um, I like the length, and I like the depth available for this length Mm -hmm. and the price point. Mm -hmm. Anybody can play it. Um, It's very elegant. Um, But, yeah, it's just an 8 for me. All right. Sure. Uh, I'm okay with going, Bob. Sure. Your game, you can go last. Um, There there are an insane amount of positives Mm -hmm. on this game, and the few negatives are, like, Dumb, nitpicky, yeah. like, uh, oh, it's gonna feel like a hate draft even when it's not. <laughs> you know, that's like, that's like not. Get nothing, over so. it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's a really rude guy. You'll, you'll, <laughs> you'll learn my over time. <laughs> um, but uh, so I actually think I'm gonna fall in an eight. I think it's a. R- I, I understand why people that had heard about this rush jumping it. at it. Yeah. Yep. yep. Uh, like I said, Julia told me about it. At Origins try to get it. Couldn't. I really like it. it. It says it plays down to eight. I haven't tried it with uh, the eight-year-old Ooh, yeah. that I know yet, uh, but it's extremely family-friendly. Like you're gonna be able to play this with kids and everybody, at, you know, almost any age. Uh, I'm with Spencer. I'm gonna give it a nine. Like, it's, it's, I, and I know typically I like heavier games, but sure. I, I love spatial awareness. I love the yep. tiling. I like that I can tell the colors apart as yeah, silly as that might nice. see. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, they, they took it. They took a. Uh, it's such a streamlined version of this concept. Yeah. Just a great job. Yep. I've used this one before, but it's elegant. Yeah. Sure. And yep. I do have to try this with my daughter. I got to borrow it from yeah, you yeah. and try oh, that. We'll see. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but if you average our <laughs> scores together, eight point five. So guys, we gave solid it an eight point five. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's a solid recommend. Like you just said, I yeah. tend to if I give games at least a seven, then mm-hmm. that's when I say that I would recommend it to people. And this game's even higher than that. I yep. yeah, I really think that this is a this is a great tile laying game that you can. It's 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 a gr- it's a good family weight. Yep. You know, but there's real decisions happening and stuff in the game too. Yep. Yeah. Good combination of stuff. Uh, yep. a- any sign off comments you guys want to make? If you can get it, get it. Yeah. And if you're still watching us, make sure you like, subscribe, 
and <laughs> ring this bell over here. Oh, yeah. look at that. Do those things. Those are the right direction, I'm going to assume. Yeah, yeah, I believe it is. Uh, cool. So anyway, <laughs> I've been Dan. I was Bob. I'm Spencer. I've been Mike. And this has been the Board Game Rundown, reviewing Acropolis from Gigamic. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for checking out the Board Game Rundown. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Share our videos on social media and spread the word. We publish new content weekly, including reviews, unboxing, and Let's Plays. And as always, thanks for watching. Score, that score I'm really positive. sucks. I just want to point out how bad that score is. Yeah, I know. Stack on its three. Even this one doesn't count for anything. I thought he these said that. These don't actually when score we anything. It, but I, that one's I separate, so these are just don't dead. See. Well, there's no blue. Yeah, there's that's no the blue. only one that's scoring you. Yeah. <laughs> but look at all those quarries, though. I know. <laughs>